Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to do a little vlog style, get ready with me for a fashion week event, and then a get unready with me. So I'm going to take you along my getting ready process, what I'm wearing, the makeup that I'm using. We're going to go to the event, come back, and we're going to get unready. So I'm going to start now. Um, I still, I need to like shower and wash my hair. I had a full day of filming. So um, we're going to hop in the shower, wash our hair, and I'll see you when I get out. So I'm gonna do my Youth to the People Kale and Aloe Sunflower Oil. I can't tell if I'm yelling or not because the towel is covering my ears so I can't hear very well. I feel like I'm yelling. So next we're gonna do... Okay. Then I'm just gonna do my oh, to the People Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Gel. And a little bit of that helps um I just took a really hot shower and I'll always take a really hot shower Ryan will get in after me and he'll be like my skin just fell off <laughs> it's not good for your skin but oh, I just love it so much with a little lavender oil anyway so this really helps tame redness uh I don't know if it's I guess like the green tea but it really helps tame redness and it gives you like a really nice cooling sensation moisturizer because I am gonna put a primer on my face when I do my makeup so I don't want to just keep adding creams and gels so I just like to keep it super simple with the gel cream and then um, do my primer when I do my makeup. I'm gonna spray some hair protein anti-breakage fluid. My hairstylist Bianca swears by this and I literally have like wait oh I don't even know if there's anything in here hold on. My hair used to break so so badly it still does around my face but um, my ends don't really break as bad as they used to and I think that's why my hair has gotten so long um, by using this stuff it's awesome I use it every time I shower I use my living proof nourishing oil um, this is probably one if not my absolute favorite product to use after I shower I mean after I wash my hair it tames everything it keeps everything in place so you don't get that really crazy frizzy hair you really have to be careful how much you use because if you overuse it, then you really, like you have to rewash your hair. <laughs> All I'm gonna use for now, because honestly, I think it's supposed to rain tonight, so I might just do this in a bun. Blow dry. Always use a round brush to blow dry straight, and my blow dryer is by Harry Josh, and it's held together by packing tape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so much harder now to eat you. First, I need to like cool down. Um, like my face is so hot and so red again, and my hair is so poofy and so hot. <laughs> so for my makeup, I'm gonna do my Tatcha primer, the Silk Canvas, and this is probably some of the best primer that I've ever used. And it's actually a little tinted, so it tones down any redness that I have. As you can see, I'm like a little red right here, a little rosy from. Uh, blow dry my hair. Comes with a cute little spoon. You like scoop it out. I was like, oh my god, that's such a good idea. Literally never used it. For my foundation, I'm gonna use Derma Blend because it's a little heavier, it's a little bit more full coverage, and I like wearing this when I'm shooting, when I know I'm gonna be on like a big screen of some sort, or when I know I'm gonna get my picture taken because it is very full coverage and it covers everything. We're gonna brush it out with a Sigma F80 brush. 
when it comes to makeup i have little to zero clue what i'm talking about and what i'm doing so please take what i'm saying with a grain of salt why i don't like to do makeup tutorials <laughs> i'll do makeup routines like this is what i'm doing but i don't like to do tutorials because i'm like I need to be watching the tutorial. I find that with this foundation, either a beauty blender or this brush, like a blending brush, <laughs> blending brush, what? It does the trick for me. It's so weird because in the camera screen, my, my face and my neck are like two different colors, but in the light, in my mirror, it's like the same exact color. I don't know, I like, I don't know who to believe. I'm gonna do under my eyes and I'm gonna use the Urban Decay, actually, I'm gonna use NARS. A thicker than the Urban Decay. Both are very creamy, but the NARS I feel like just does the trick a little bit more when I'm needing more coverage. I saw someone on YouTube do this, so yeah, now I'm doing this. I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. Oh, ooh, I almost put powder here. I haven't blended it yet. Use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Pencil, followed up with Glossier Boy Brow. Wait, I gotta go for this. I'll be right back. Eyeshadow and then eyeliner. I think I'm gonna go for kind of a pink eyeshadow. You guys were really liking, um, I did this look in a video not that long ago and you guys flattered me so much and said that you liked it. So I'm gonna do it again. And actually, what was on my eyes was blush. It wasn't even eyeshadow. So, actually using my Sigma Wildflower palette. And I can't remember if I used this color or this color. I'm pretty sure it was this one because it's got some swirlies taken out of it. So, it looks kind of cool. It's kind of like red, reddish pink. I figured out why my face was so white and my body was so dark is because my exposure was turned up. I don't know where my brain is today, but it is not where it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna do a little contouring. I'm using my Hoola bronzer. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. I've literally never used anything else. I have it in the powder and then I have it in the stick. And the stick is really great for like... <laughs> it just fell out. Oh! Shoot, okay. Well, the stick is great for breaking like your forehead. It's good for your cheekbones. Dang it, that literally just like flopped out that stick because it gives you a really rich brown color. The um, the powder can be just a little bit, almost just like too powdery and almost like a little light. The stick is really nice and creamy and it gives you more of like a, a matte look but at the same time like a creamy look. Don't worry, we're gonna blend. Next I'm gonna get my highlighting stick. My favorite one is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. Come on, come on. It's the color Gold Light. To do it with my finger, I feel like it's just a little bit more gentle that way. A bit down my nose right here. I mean, honestly, like I don't know what goes on first, if it's the highlighter or the blush, but we're gonna do highlighter and then we're gonna do blush. Okay, now I'm just getting crazy. I literally never put it there, I don't know what I'm doing. You guys ever like, you're getting ready to go somewhere and then that's when you start experimenting and trying new things. I don't, I do that all the time and I'm like, stop experimenting when you're about to go somewhere. Experiment when you're just like working at home or even like shooting an outfit or something. Don't experiment before you go somewhere. Now that I'm thinking about it, my dress is navy. It's got some navy and gray. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of, I saw this really pretty color called elderberry right here. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Just like a little because I already put my, <laughs> I need to just go to bed. I don't need to be going anywhere right now. Oh no, mm -mm. I already regret it. Okay, now, well now I have to map, map. Stop trying to be fancy. Stick to what you know, stick to what you know. Just gonna use my finger. I'm trying to cover up this navy that I just did. Now I regret it. This is like a makeup fail right now. I promise I'm better at makeup than this right here. So we're gonna do NARS and the color Orgasm. And we're just gonna do a little bit because we have pink, pink eyelids. I like to put my lipstick on after I put my outfit on 
because I just kind of like to see what's gonna go well. And that's something that's really hard to reverse once you put lipstick on, especially if it's like a matte or something. It's really, really hard to get off if it doesn't match. So I'm gonna do mascara and then hair. Before I get started actually straightening my hair while I'm waiting for my straightener to heat up, I'm gonna put this on my roots and on my ends and it is the IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. It is a heat protector, a just like smoothing balm. It is so good. It's just like a multi-purpose amazing product and I've been using it forever. And I'm going to do a little bit of heat protectant. This is my favorite. This one right here. I will link it below. I get the most breakage on the top here and around my hairline. Definitely is where all my breakage is. So then I'm gonna, oh, I probably just sprayed this all in my drink. Honey-infused hair oil, or I will put the Way hair oil. The bo both of my Ways I love. I've got this one, which is new, and then this one's almost out. The Rose hair and body oil. Um, this one smells better, but I feel like this one works a little bit better. So either way, I'm gonna go with this. Let us, let us light them up, light them up, light so I'm going to an event for Lulu's and they let me pick out a few things that they sent to me to wear to the event. And I think the one I'm gonna wear is this one by Keepsake and I love it. I love the sleeves, I think it's girly. I'm gonna make it a little bit more edgy with my shoes I think. So I'm gonna try this on, um, play with my shoes, play with my hair, accessories and I'll see you when I am ready. This is the final look. I'm wearing the navy dress that I showed you guys. This little um, belt bag. These net booties. Boots, booties. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with my brain today? And yeah, we're excited. So Jenna and I are going. Ryan's staying here with this girl. We're about to head out. We're gonna go down, take a quick photo, get an Uber, and head there. See you there. Literally take like 10. 
so we're just gonna take the subway instead. Oh, the G3 does stop at Fulham Street. Does it? Holla. What the heck? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you again. floor and the injury with Stella because she wanted to play ball as soon as I got home. I am gonna go get unready now. I'm so tired. Um, so let's go. All right, so I'm in my bathroom and I'm about to hop in the shower because I'm one of those people that I cannot start my day without a shower and I cannot go to bed without showering. Something that's, I've always been, it's always like two showers a day. And a lot of people say that that's not good for you. Um, I don't know. Well, come in. This girl, she likes to sit in here while I shower. She just waits for me so she can go to we can go to bed together. Yeah. Okay. In the shower, and I actually do a lot of my removing my makeup and all of that stuff in the shower. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I'm going to be using. I am using the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser, which I have like this much left so I definitely need to make a trip to Glossier and I'm using my Peter Thomas Roth acne clearing wash. I don't know if it was cleansing or clearing. I love this stuff. It's great. I use it every night um, when I'm washing my face so these are the two products I'm going to use in the shower. I'm going to use the same eye cream that I used earlier because it's so soothing and my face feels so dry. Um, I think because I washed it and then put a bunch of makeup on it and then wash it again and then for my face, I am in the process of using Curology, so I'm going to put this on, and I know within the first like month or so that you're using it, you're not supposed to use any other products with it on your face, so I'm just going to use this by itself, and I just use a few pumps. This is my new one. They send you a new one every month if you sign up for that. This is my old one. Like, been such a lifesaver for my skin. You guys who don't watch my vlogs, I think the only time I've talked about my skin problems is in my vlog. I just have had really bad skin after I got off of birth control pill and got an IUD. My skin just like went crazy. I get like one or two really, really bad pimples. And the only thing that has helped me so far consistently is Curology. And this, is, this isn't sponsored or anything. I always want to just like reassure you um, that it's not just for like disclosure purposes. I don't want you to think I'm being sponsored and not disclosing anything. So I'm going to go make some tea, get in bed, work, and I hope you guys like this video and let me know if you want to see more, get ready with me, get unready with me, and what kind of occasion you want to see that for. I thought fashion was fun since we're in the middle of it um, and you kind of get to see like the event that I went to and all of that. So, all right. Good night, guys. I'll see you next time.